And it's one nothing, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very early score on behalf of Jazz Rattery Smith at Somerset going up one nothing already. And we're in about the seventh to tenth minute of the game. And Village have taken over. Wonderful ball. The wind kept it up high. And therefore over the head of number 99, Pierre. Oh, hey, and we understand that Somerset has actually had an infusion of players. Uh, the players that they're definitely looking at, grooming, uh, who are away in the greater USA. And that's a nice strategic move on their part uh, as they push towards trying to get this particular championship, something that they haven't had 23 years. in 23 years up at the Somerset uh, uh, community. And I'm sure, as you can see by the... Uh, crowd here. There are a number of Somerset uh, fans all looking to see whether or not their red machine will actually be able to lock down the league championship today. And the back four, the, the two center backs of some of, uh, of of Village and that was an interesting attempt there by uh, North Village's number 27 Rakeem DeShields and now the ball is back in Somerset on the left side there with the left back. Number two. And the ball is going into touch.
and uh, Summers is going to, uh, sorry, St. George's gets the throw, I mean, Avilis really? gets the throw, and uh, Bean is going back, number seven to Burgess, and Burgess is going to drive this ball just above the height of the, thing. and Summers defends it quite well, and Dion Stubbles got this, and he's flicked the ball forward, and Rakeem DeShields meets the ball very early, and is able to knock it forward, and Keyshan Bean is, no, it's, I'm sorry, number eight, Dimitri Daniels is gone and gotten this one and now the ball's back with the center backs again so it looks like the center backs are the ones that are going to actually start these plays and that's a wonderful play by Ralph Bean and Ralph Bean is finally going to Pierre Smith and Pierre goes inside nice wonderful call by Dimitri Daniels and he knocks it forward but it's unfortunately and now the ball's in the middle of the park and Stubble's on this ball number 12 and he's looking for a pass you know he holds up he's not going to go back he does finally go back to and then it's wonderfully met in the sky as a result. And there's a knock, an, un, an inadvertent handball by uh, number 99. Pierre Smith, ball just bounced up underneath his hand. He got the benefit of the ball, bouncing back down to his feet, and that's why the uh, infringement was called on by the referee. Referee is Lyndon Rainan. Yes, we have Lyndon Rainan, who's actually speaking right now to uh, number Oh, uh, stubble. 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 Uh, stubble and him uh, obviously have had a little slight disagreement and I'm, I'm happy to see that uh, it's all been worked out. Ball's headed out by the defensive thing and it's put down and in the air and out comes the keeper to watch this ball potentially go into touch and he does guide it into touch but he is troubled by Pierre Smith. And the ball is in the goal area, about to be kicked out by number one, the uh, Shaquille Bean. And he drives the ball. Ball is held up in the wind, doesn't quite make the half, but it's knotted on by number 19. And then Donald knocks the ball to number 13. Number 13 is going to go a race here, and he's, he's actually tasking DeVray Tankard. Oh, to rank Tankard has pushed him down. And it's going to be a foul, ladies and gentlemen. That was Justin Donovan. Justin Donovan was putting on a race with Tankard, and uh, as a result, Tankard had to put his hands on him, and he's done a, what I call an intelligent foul, just outside the box by about four or five yards, but definitely in the final third of, of uh, that they're trying to defend. And number six is stepping up to actually deal with this, and uh, that's Justin Corday, and he's a left-footed player, but it looks like he's lining up for a right... Uh, for the delivery and it is going to be just that and there are players to the backside of the far post of, of village and uh, Summers is looking to do what he needs to do. It's well driven in there and it had to be headed cleanly away and uh, the, the captain Ralphie did so knocking it out of danger and Somerset will acquire a corner as a result of that and uh, as a result we're going to see North Village having to defend Number six again, Justin Corday, who's going to actually do another. Uh, well, it's going to be in swinging. He's placing the ball. There's enough of a contingent of Somerset in there attacking the ball. There's movement as, as the kick is made, and it's going out to the back, knocked down, and there's going to be a shot, and a shot wide. Nothing really behind it other than the fact that the ball bounced up higher than his uh, hip, and he had to actually make contact because he was being challenged. Hall Jr., the goalkeeper, starts to play and Ralph Bean has come down to get the ball and he's knocked it out to DeVray Tanker. Tanker goes back inside. the side, he goes a little short. Pierre Smith's got lots to do and that's a wonderful play on the inside for number nine, Jensen. And, and ball's going far and wide out there to Dion Stubble with a little nice little inside out play. And that was actually Alton Trott who actually made that wonderful uh, tap in of which uh, the delivery was trying, was seeking for um, Justin Donnelly, your rose, very important today. Very important. Yeah? And Troy Hall Jr. uses the wind and he drives the ball wonderfully. Up goes two players. Ball's knocked into touch on the far side and still in the possession of the North Village Rams. Jason Davis steps up, he throws to Bean. Bean's gonna hold that ball, turns and pivots away from his and in the hands, or, or in the feet of, oh, and this is wonderful. Uh, here we go. 
looking for a pass and it's finally finally oh yes and it's gone to the to the benefit of Somerset oh yeah thank you very much knocked into touch again defended by the Rams they get another five yards thrown interiorly going back to Corday Corday knocks it back and up steps the shields the shields flicks it forward oh it's inadvertently in the feet oh 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 whoa oh my lord what what are we talking about ping pong here ladies and gentlemen between two players just two players DeVray that's wonderfully knocked down and it's blocked and it's knocked in and the shields knocks this one down wow wow that was something I don't know if the cameraman got all of that but that was something absolutely incredible number five's on the ball goes inside to and an inside outside play looking Corday was trying to actually get the ball further down the line and wasn't successful but the ball is deep in the Rams third of the field and they're gonna have to try to work this out here Smith goes down the Shields is looking for it. Daniels is looking for it. He goes, and that's a beautiful heading. Oh, this is interesting. It's in the box. Carried on and did, oh, met by Stubble. At least three to, to five yards away from the upright there. Didn't get exactly all that he wanted on it. Again, the ball was bouncing high above his hip as well. He had to lay out a little to actually try to get that down and around, but it was towards goal. Balls now with the shields. The shields looking. He's on the left side here. He comes up. No one's attacking. Really, just trying to find the actual passing lanes. Balls going up to Dimit. No. Oh, it's, an, it's a roll there, and it's a little drive through the covers. And this is interesting. And the ball's guided by the Somerset player into the goalkeeper's hands of Shaquille Bean. It's a drive, and now the wind assisted doesn't quite make the half. The 40 to 60 feet in the air. And Bean is skying as well. He's knocked the ball down. He's going to take the ball every time. You've got to keep it low. And as a result, the ball's now on the far side. Right underneath me, as a matter of fact. Thrown down. Oh, and unfortunately, <laughs> Justin Corday had lots of time and chose to try to one-touch it back. The Ray Dankers, Tankers got the ball. He goes back to the Shields. The Shields is looking, and they find a passing lane. Dimitri Daniels has done a wonderful job to turn and into the pocket of... And Keisha Bean is on this, and he's going to have to move. And he puts a little pressure on, but number five, Trevin Ming, was equal to the task. Village retained possession. Daniels, oh, Dimitri Daniels is, he's going to go baseline, ladies and gentlemen. And he's met. William White. William White defensively, long, lean, strong, pushes the ball into touch, but Village retained possession. Seven yards off the, po off the uh, flag there, and inadvertently, Mishandled by Dimitri Daniels and knocked into touch across the baseline and Somerset have re won the possession back and they will start this game with a goal kick. Shaquille Beam will do this. 15 minutes. And we're at the 15 minute and uh, the score still remains. One to nil. Ball struck wonderfully. The wind is over and around it and Justin Donawa goes up and uh, it was ruled that it went right into touch and Village retained possession. De Shields has got this deep, number 27. He's looking to find, to find a passing lane. Beaten Corday, and the ball goes inside. And Corday's effort is assisted. And there's a wonderful little low man, Dimitri Daniels, was able to use his center of gravity. And this is interesting, ladies and gentlemen. Keyshawn Bean is on. He's going to volley it. Oh, oh, the ball was carrying in the wind. Just didn't come down for him enough. Fortunately, Somerset was able to get their toe to it as well. And now they're on the raid down and cut out by the captain, Keith, uh, Ralph Bean. Oh, and they've stepped up. And we've got Justin Corday got the ball. He's, he's going back. Hit it. And D. Oh! oh it's got to be followed up. Yeah. Follow up, yep, shot. And it's interesting, wonderful shot. Troy Hall Jr. was had to turn to his left because of the shot. 
was evading him and Deion Stavo was able to cause some concern there and as a result he was equal to the task and the Burroughs with Burgess on the far right hand side the other center back and he's looking to find a passing lane he's found Jason Davis Jason Davis gives him a few feet returns a pass and Burgess has gone long to his counterpart and Somerset has been equal to the task and Jason Davis is down there as well and he slid the ball off of the uh, Adolphus the left back and they will retain possession village and Takiai Walker turns but not oh these bounces ladies and gentlemen attempted clearances and bounces are not really working in Somerset's favor um, it's a little shocking but uh, fortunately no major problems for them and the ball's now in Shaquille Bean's hands he throws the ball out to Adolphus Lambert Lambert receives it unchallenged he's looking down the field makes a wonderful pass interiorly but also anticipating that pass was Taki I Walker who was able to do some defensive work and knock the ball into touch uh, but against a Somerset player they, they win the ball back the throw comes Jason Davis is in there he's lost out and Somerset Deion Stubbles on this He's looking to dribble. He's found some time and space. And this is a offside, definitely. Definitely, ladies and gentlemen, offside. Got to go inside first. Then cut out. And number 11, I think, for Somerset was actually uh, called offside. Jazz Rattery Smith ran a wonderful pattern, but unfortunately was not able to stay and Ralph Bean's got this ball he's gonna go 20 30 feet in the air and Keyshawn Bean's on the move it's gonna force and unfortunately his force didn't quite work out and the ball was back with the goalkeeper Shaquille Bean who will start this game with a goal kick he's waved off his right back Mr. White uh, William White and as a result, he's going to go long. Ball goes high in the air, meets the half. It's knocked. The Ray knocks it forward. Daniels is trying to bring this into. Oh, and it's gone and favorably bounced. And Justin Corday is on the on the move and up steps the shields. And Pierre Smith's got this ball. Dimitri Daniels is going to look forward, and it's a ball played wonderfully. Oh, he uh, Keyshawn Bean. Should have done better with that. It bounced up quickly on him, but he was trying to flick it on, trying to hold it and just lob it over the defensive line and didn't quite stop its momentum. So it carried and all the way to the keeper, Shaquille Bean. Shaquille Bean uh, now is starting to drive this ball and he does so and the ball is just at the half being held up by the wind. DeVray knocks this ball down. White scoots across and make sure that Takiai was not able to receive it cleanly. And Davis is asked the ball, uh, was asked by Bean to give the ball. And Davis is breaking forward from his right back position. And this is going to be interesting. But safely now in the hands of Shaquille Bean. So it looks like uh, Jason Davis is being asked to do some work from his right back position, doing a lot of work running. Yeah. Here we go, Jet. Ball's thrown in to Burgess. Burgess is deep in his position there. And they go across the field. Goes to his counterpart, DeShields, who's the left center back. And DeShields gonna get a give Dimitri Daniels a touch. And Daniels gives him more time and space so that he can actually take a look at the field. White comes forward, pumps it back out. And it's a knock. And it's knocked wonderfully and worked. Oh, this is interesting. This is very interesting. Good, good, good defense. Wonderful White. defensive play by number 19, William White. William White. Long, strong, and was able to be very effective in punting that ball away. Uh, and uh, as a result, the referee says that this ball is okay. Taki I Walker is going to have to find the penalty area, penalty spot. Oh, this is interesting. Near post. Right. The ball was assisted all the way in. And it's a swirling wind, ladies and gentlemen, right. and wonderfully right. knocked out. Uh, and this should be number fed forward Here's to Deion, St Deion Stubble he's going to try to loop it Ball. and this is an interesting run Justin Donawa number 13 and he's going to be cut out Jeez, Dimitri bro. Daniels 
Wonderful makeup of yardage by him. Knew what he had to do. Closed it off. Ten yards, five yards, and snapped it out of the way, out of danger. What Justin Donald did not have enough time to settle to actually continue that attack. And the ball's being thrown in by Corday, or is it White? White and Corday is and White's there going baseline. He's going to try. He does it. Drives it back. Oh, known for his flying acrobats. Dion Stubble laid out a little, got his hip up, turned that ball towards goal, and unfortunately wasn't able to direct it in the manner that he wanted, but it was a bullet of a drive. And the ball now is in the possession. And Pierre Smith has been robbed, and White's going to look to drive. And White... William White came up, he did the right, right things, but he had options, and the option that he took didn't quite work out to the benefit of his team. He struck the ball, and uh, Village was able to get this ball back. And the ball is back to the Shields, and it's very interesting. And now the Shields was able to actually get out of danger there. Ball's driven long, he's beaten, no, it has not beaten the defensive. Oh, careful, careful. Oh. Oh. And the players heard over here, ladies and gentlemen. And the referee has chosen to stop the game because he ran right into the fence. Definitely injured himself. Justin! Justin! Sometimes you gotta let him have that. You guys can't keep, you can't keep chasing the ball all day like that. And uh, the referee spotted that he was in difficulty and uh, as a result brought the game to a halt and on comes the medic to make sure that he's okay he's probably lost a little bit of uh, skin I'm sure and uh, maybe he was winded maybe that's what it is because the, the the medic is not attending to any of his injuries it's, yeah it was a winded situation where he ran into the fence and probably uh, hurt himself in terms of knocking the wind out of him. Yeah. The referee is asked to get started of the game. This is flighted wonderfully. Knocked on and oh, it's in! It's in! Ladies and gentlemen! See? It's in! It's Bailey. Uh, North Village. I tell you, I gave it the rim, man. Got the wind. Tacky Eye Walker found that particular glide path. Floated, floated behind the what appeared to be a, a, a staggered defensive line there. Oh, man. And unfortunately... You know that guy, Bailey. Bailey. Bailey went up, put a head to it. Bailey Sh scored. Shaquille Bean was scrambling going to his left. He got his hand to it, but when he pushed the ball, it actually was pushed into the net as a result. 25 minutes. And at the 25th minute, we have a score of one all now as a result. Interesting thing, Shik Bean is attacking it, and now it's in Village's hands, and he's going to find, and Pierre's going to have to do something here to try to win it back. William White is also going to have to make sure he does his defensive duties, and he does so quite well. Balls swept to Rogers, and Rogers pushes the ball forward, and Justin goes up. Donald collects. It's going to go to White, and White then punches the ball 30, or the, and DeShield skies, and it knocked onto Takia Walker, who's being defended, but... Kishan Bean is looking to get this, settled, this ball settled. He's found that it, it is settled. Goes back to Bean. Bean slides it in. Dimitri Daniels. No, where is he going? No one in that space. And as a result of trying to put the ball over the top, Gotta go wide, Troy yeah. Hold is going to have to go. And he's found Jason Davis on the touchline. And they're going to attack this far side. He's got time and space, 30 yards. He go, wasn't able to get past his first defensive man there. He has to try again. Dimitri Daniels is playing with his back towards goal, going to Davis. Davis comes across to the middle with a dribble, has found the Shields. The Shields, yep. number 27, surveying and, and they're knocking him up and printing some. They're back. knocking the back, ladies and gentlemen. And oh, it's Trevor Ming that was penalized there. It sounds, it looks like the referee has decided that uh, he's not going to have any of this uh, verbal abuse possibly and has asked someone to get from behind the goal. 
and that's Mr. Rayner. And Village have the benefit of a free kick, 30 yards out. And Terrell Burgess is on top of this, ladies and gentlemen. And if he keeps this, if he keeps this at six foot high, ladies and gentlemen, there's going to be trouble because the wind will pick it up a foot or so. Boom! And it's all on the ground, all the way through, untouched, into the hands of Shaquille Bean, and he's going to look to release Justin Donald. Thought the better of that, and decided with a long and high kick, and up goes. Jason oh, yeah. Davis has found Daniels. Daniels will retain the ball. He's going to go back to Davis. And Davis is going to punch it. Oh, and unfortunately, it bunks up on him at the last minute. And his direction was not good as a result. And the ball goes into touch. And Somerset will take over the possession of that particular village yeah. attack. Here we go. Number three is going to have to... Oh, does well, does very, very well, and was able to knock that ball. And that was Sean Brangman. And then, oh, Ralph Beans knocked this ball back to DeShields. And DeShields took his eye off the ball momentarily. He's got stuff to do. He's being, he's being harassed. And there's a nice, nice push out here. And White was able to get that as a result. And beautifully played by White. White dummy on the inside. Caught, made the Ray think he was going inside, and it's equally delivered. Wow. But Burgess swept it away, and Keishan Bean has come a long way over and back. And the ball is now going to the possession. And Donald Justin, Justin Corday is on this ball, breaking. He's met by the Shields, and unfortunately, the Shields was able. Oh, and that particular thing. Oh my my! And as a result, ladies and gentlemen, they was looking for a foul, and and the ball is in the possession of Somerset, thrown in nicely, met by Devray Tankard, and Dimitri Daniels is making sure, and then the ball goes to Takai Walker. A lot to do, and White's looking to play strong, does so. William White, good good defending. Takiai Walker's come in, he's going to use his body, and there he's holding off White. Played inside, Pierre Smith being brave, flicked it in, oh! Wonderful dummy. The Ray Tanker, Justin Donald gets, and George Coday, and Bean, and unfortunately, unfortunately, didn't go the way of Bean. And the referee saw that that was not where the ball should was supposed to be. It was a nice attempt to start fast on Corday's part, but not quite where the ball should be. And now we're going to go again back. William White is on this ball, number 19. Don't chase every ball. Chase every ball now. Village has set up on the 18 to defend it. And the ball is going to go down to Justin Donald. Donald draws Tanker. Tanker is looking to give him time and space. Other ball swept wonderfully across and bounces once. No one was attacking it. And fortunately, fortunately for Village, no one was attacking it. And when they realized it, the ball was on the other side and swept away by Jason Davis, who was looking and spotted the danger. Ball's going to be thrown in by Lambert on the far left-hand side of the field. There's movement. Lambert's gonna, gonna fi find it, and it's gonna sweep it across. This interesting, over the top of him! Oh, oh, yes, 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 ladies and gentlemen. The minute that ball left his foot, I felt that it was going goal bound, and it looked like it was on target, and yes, it was, and it beat the, the jumping attempt of Troy Hall Jr. 
and nestled in the far back side of the far post. Side netting wasn't un was untouched, and the score it now moves to two to the one. Two goals to Somerset and one to Village. Now we're at the 33rd minute. And let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who are here live, you're definitely getting a treat. For those of you on the radio and for those of you on the internet and around the world, you should be here. What a, what a wonderful shot that was. 6-1. Yeah? You guys are saying 6-1 already. <laughs> this. I don't think I know about that. <laughs> but I think if, if they keep pressing like they should, they should be more like Ball goes out to Jason Davis on the right-hand side. Davis is going to go down the side. Wonderful step up by Adolphus Lambert who pushes the ball into touch. And Davis moves up to take the throw. He throws it in on the chest of Takai Walker. I wasn't able to do what he needed to do was to retain possession. Dimitri Daniels being bothered. And as a result, referee Rayner was right on that. And... Village have another free kick. Bean's got this. Bean's going to try this. Ralph Bean, number seven. Is he going to just go over the top of the line? They're on the 18. Dinking it over. The swirling. And defended. And Taki Walker's going out to take this corner. The big man stay in place, which is Burgess. Takiai Walker may use another attempt of the swirling using the wind assisted swirl. All he has to do is get it within the frame of goal. Just get it in there and he does it again, but it's to the far back side, but it's going to be defended by, White. by White who flicks the ball out. The Ray Tankard is going baseline. Oh, oh, a wonderful almost turn there. Go, <laughs> spun, his, spun his man with his. His center of gravity going to the left and wasn't able to keep it keep it in and unfortunately the ball is now unfortunately the ball is now in the hands of Somerset and they look to go down the side with Adolphus Lambert and it's knocked against but according to the linesman it is in the favor of Somerset Trojans. Lambert takes the ball up throws it down the line Bean is looking to retain possession. He does not do so. Jazz, 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 Jazz Reddy Smith. Smith attempts to step uh, over. And Jason Davis goes to ground and slides the ball it's into it's touch. Good. Lambert moves another 20 yards up. Throws the ball down. Jazz Reddy Smith allowing the ball to come to him. Does a spin. And then Davis again pushes the ball into touch. We're about five yards off the uh, corner flag. The ball is going to be thrown in by Lambert again. Out comes Justin Corday. He knocks the ball down, and it's spun in, and that looks like yes, that Adolphus has been ruled have been in a offside position. They credit the defensive wall or Village who moved after the ball was thrown by him. And Jason Davis starts it with a 40-yard drive down the far right side. He's beaten. Lambert and Takiai Walker brings the ball down. Daniels goes back to Davis. Davis goes back inside to Burgess. Burgess sweeps it inside to his counterpart of the Shields. And Bean. Press, 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 press. And the ball goes to Ralph Bean. Daniels is looking to move forward. Let him oh, unlucky. And the ball stays in touch. And William White's looking to, to move. He's looking for a passing lane. He's found number nine instead, who's also found a passing lane and has found the chest of. Right into the camera. The Shields. <laughs> and Mike Sharp's down there playing, uh, doing double duty with the camera and being the ball boy. Justin moves forward and the ball is knocked. And as a result, Somerset lose possession. DeVray throws the ball back to the Shields. The Shields looking for a passing lane. Got time and space, goes inside to Burgess. Burgess should go back to him. Chooses to not to go out. Oh, oh and enough, just enough to beat the efforts. Oh, stupid, stupid. And as a result, Jason Davis was fouled on the far side. Ralph Beans collects his restart, and the ball is knocked into a, a passing lane. And oh, this is an interesting situation. Oh, 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 oh! I would have thought that Bean should have left left that ball for I don't know who that was there. <laughs> 
but definitely he was in a better position. Oh, they've gone to sleep, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh, and a wonderful collect, a wonderful collect by Shaquille. He had to do it all. Someone said had gone to sleep defensively there. The restart was taken very quickly on the corner side by Village, and Shaquille had to come up big, and which he did. White's got this. White's going to have to, and White's going to Corday. Corday is going back to White, and White's going back to Corday, and Corday is going back to White. And now the ball's being swept on the inside, and Village is coming, and, and definitely a foul. Definitely a foul. Ralph Bean's going to spot this. Number nine is making sure he doesn't get to uh, play the ball too quickly. Alton Trot, and now he's back. And now the one man in front of the ball at 10 to 12 yards is Justin Corday. Bean steps up three yards off the ball, sweeps it in. It's going to be met. Oh, knocked down nicely. And. Get it out, get it out of there. Takiyah Walker's looking to scratch it. Oh, and everybody's in there. Oh, I say everybody because the ball had beaten all of Somerset players. There were two village players. The ball went to the first one, and all he had to do was spin and knock it in, potentially, past the goalkeeper. He went for a goal shot. It went up over the goal. There was nobody there for him to actually beat. No one there but from Somerset to defend it. Shaquille Bean was left all on his own. Only God was there to take this ball over the top of the goal, ladies and gentlemen. And fortunately for the Somerset Trojans, it worked out for them. And as a result, the ball is now in the possession of Somerset. And the ball is now 30 feet in the air. And well defend, well, well, and up steps the Vray, and this should stay potentially. Oh no, it's going to not. Go out, and that was a good chasing scenario there. The wind assisted the defensive header by the Vray Tankard, and he followed that, and the ball just kept going. And we're at the 40th minute, ladies and gentlemen, and again, Shaquille Bean's gonna practice his goal kick, and he does so again, almost the exact same spot, and DeVray tankered up again, oh. off of Donawa, and out. Jeez. Oh, my, my. It's that, yeah, yeah. Lyndon was in the proper place <laughs> to see that. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. And ball is thrown by DeVray Tanker back to the Shields. The sh and the ball is, ooh. Nice, and the ball should be swept wide, and it does. It goes right up to Jason Davis, who's got acres of space. He sweeps it in, and this is a, oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, Ronnie, please. A wonderful display of staying man-to-man -man by Somerset there, but uh, again, had Village really attacked the flight of that ball, yeah. It would have possibly put uh, Shaquille Bean in no man's land. Maybe he was the one that was supposed to attack the ball. But he allowed it to drift across goal there. And uh, fortunately for him, it bounced harmlessly out. He places the ball for the goal kick. And he steps back into his goal. It's going to come up to drive. And he does so. And the ball just gets inside the center circle. Three players go up. And to the Keep benefit of all village, and Takiyai Walker is going to try to to do his business, and Shaquille's looking. Well, he does that too much, man. He draws down Takiyai Walker, and as a result, stay, William, stay just in case. oh my, oh my! Unfortunately, Pierre Smith was not able to get his. Direction on the shot. The goal was totally open. Oh, wonderfully won by Keyshan Bean. And then also a defensive move by Somerset. Justin has a lot, lots to do. Upended slightly by Bean. And Justin has knocked it into touch. And Somerset, uh, Somerset has lost possession. But they, they quickly get it back. Jazz Rattery Smith's on the run. He's being bothered by Jason. And the ball. It's calling the bend. it's calling back. Jason right Davis 
talk a professional foul. He wasn't carded for it. He was able to make sure that Justin or Jazz Rosary Smith was not able to actually get any further. He was tugging on his shirt and pants, and that way the play was brought to a halt. It's also could be deadly if you play like this. And you use your wingers. the referee is now asked the to play to resume. Oh, try, this is very huh? interesting. Mm. The Shields gets up, and that's a push in the back, push definitely. In the back. Push in the back. And Beans quickly on this, he plays it forward. And it's defended, yeah, it. knocked down, and it's pumped over. Get it, get it, get it, get and it. And as get a it. result, the Ray Tanker allows the ball to run. Donald put some pressure on on Tankard, but the wind assisted and helped. And we have gusts of wind, gusts of wind down here, ladies and gentlemen. That's the play. Knocked here. Flicked on. Bean knocks it down. The Shields is going to do its thing. There's a push by Stubble. The Stubble closes the gap early. And the ball now is being it's in the possession of Somerset, who wins the throw. And we're, at, we're probably very close to uh, the, the ending of this particular half. Cordier is going to try to play this ball in. It's not the correct pass. And fortunately, the bounce worked out. Takei well, Walker is bothering number eight, who tries Too to slide the play in, uh, ah. the ball in. And unfortunately, the one runs into touch. And Troy Hall Jr. collects the ball after it goes into touch. And it's going to restart this match with a goal kick. This will be one of the last wind assisted kicks that he'll have. There it is, over the half. Up goes Somerset, defensively heading it. Gone to Jason Davis. Davis returns the ball back to Burgess. Burgess is going to go up and over. And there's some chasers. It's interesting. And out comes Shaquille Bean, who cleanly collects. He's going to have to pick this one up. He's drawn down. He moves the ball along. Drives the ball up. Wonderful drive by him. Up goes Tanker. Tanker knocks the ball down. Swept over there to Jazz Radley Smith, who looks to play the ball internally to Corday and didn't quite do it. Was behind him. Beans looking to go out to Davis. Davis gets the ball. He looks inside back to Bean. Bean. And then a wonderful call. And this should be. Oh! Unfortunately, unfortunately, the ball. It's a wonderful positioning by White, who threw, threw Tankard off. He delivered the ball wonderfully, and unfortunately, for Village, they had to turn this ball over. But again, credit the play of White, who was able to actually position himself well. Oh! And they're, they're tussling for it. And as a result, Donald gets the benefit of the call. Dimitri Daniels pushes the ball back a little bit, back to where White will take the ball in the position where it should be. And the gust of wind is starting to happen again, ladies and gentlemen. White nicely driven though, and the ball headed in the direction of Jazz Rattery Smith, but the wheel still goes, and the half has been drawn to a close, ladies and gentlemen, where the score now, at the end of this two, the half is brought to a close where Somerset retained their lead on this match. Two goals to the North Village response of one. And we'll be back to see what happens during this particular or so the second half. We're going back to our sponsors.